But yeah, I would love for a green arrow game. Kaboom. <laughs> That's the direct sound effect for it. Kaboom. The damage from the fire trolls is a scream. Over a third of the city is without power, and there is extensive damage to the armory. Fighting them is off. Fighting them off costs us dearly. But Atlantia stands. Yes, thanks to the courage of the god without Earth. Without Gareth, are you here to lend us to lead? I did my best. You did well, Dolphin, and Atlantean is in your debt. Thank you, sir, but what about the fire trolls? Do we counterattack? No. My league? I said no. Attacking the fire trolls is just what we would be expected to do. Queen Mira told me about the submarines and your conspiracy theory. Are you certain Black Manta is not the one responsible? Black Manta and the Lava Lord are mere pawns. The true villain has yet to show his face. But if it's not Lava Lord or Black Manta, then who? The list of suspects is short, and I have a feeling it's about to get even shorter. Where are you going, Mali? I'm going to Wendy's. Get me a sandwich. I'll be back. Back to the ruins. That's the main connection between Black Manta and his men. Who in the world is this? Hello, you there. Identify yourself. Arr! Mission 13. Wendy Burgers. Wendy Burgers. <laughs> Invaders. Intruders, I think it said. Intruders. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm serious about this Green Arrow game. I would love for it to be open world. Now, like I said, Batman has pretty much set up the table for how, like, a uh, superhero roaming around through the city and stuff should go. I think Green Arrow should travel through the rooftops. He has the option to get on the ground, you know, whatever, the same thing with Batman. But, like, have it, like, so he's jumping rooftop to rooftop, rooftop. I think he has a... Uh, that's not Green Arrow. See, that's the thing about Green Arrow. I don't know too much about him. See, like, I only know about Spider-Man and Batman a little bit. Most of Spider-Man. <laughs> Any other comic book, I know loosely information. Oh, that's a whole new area. I'm surprised. I, 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 if I... Whoa, hold up. These are new enemies. Okay. Okay. Oh my god! Whoa, hold up now. Don't nobody give me a hickey belt my way. Especially not no other man. That I don't know. Hey. Maybe I should get to know you. Hey, they go down like anybody. Okay, never mind, never mind. I, I thought that was true. But anyway, I, I gotta applaud them for like making like a whole new map because this easily could have been like a reuse. Uh, map from when we was over there with the ruins and stuff when we were first, you know, dealing with uh, mantis, black mantis. They could have reused that. I thought that's what they were going to do, but no, it's a whole new map. Why do people hate this game? It's not that bad. I mean, I play it worse. This is actually pretty fun. I'm enjoying myself. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Da, da, da. Or maybe I'm just abnormal. <laughs> I like stuff that everybody else hates. I hate stuff that everybody else likes. <laughs> I guess because when I get older, I start to like look at things for what they are. Like this is an Aquaman game. It's gonna be fighting on the water. Of course, the combat and water controls are not gonna be all that great. I couldn't imagine how they would be able to do that anyway when it's like on GameCube, or PlayStation, dealing with on the water controls. I don't think there's no PlayStation 2 or, or uh, GameCube game that has great underwater controls. And I play Short Tail. Short Tail was alright, I guess. That, that was underwater. It was fun. So I think they, I think they did okay if that's what they were trying to go for. I don't know. I had to see what the reviews say. Usually when I make a... When I play a game and then I beat it, I like to like look up reviews on the game and see if I agree with everybody else. Sometimes 
I can see where people are coming from when it comes to complaining. But like some other times, I'd be like, no, I think the developers they they tried their best, you know. Come on, man. Come here. But yeah, anyway, uh, I think Green Arrow has like a grappling hook. Does he have a grappling hook? There was this one um, episode of Batman. Some it's one of the animated TV shows. You know, Batman got so many, I, I can't keep up with one. But I was watching one of them. I think was it in Justice League? I yeah, actually, I think it was in Justice League. There was like this one episode where it was like Batman and Green Arrow. They was like fighting somebody on top of a clock tower or something like that, and they were kind of having trouble dealing with this person. Um, but they were working together, and I would love for that to be in the Green Arrow game. I would like, well, not like just have Batman and Green Arrow. I wanted to focus on Green Arrow, you know, one character at a time. And I wanted to go through some of his villains and the struggles that he deal with. And let's say he, uh, I don't know if Green Arrow travels at day or at night. He probably travels at night, mostly. Because, you know, it's cool, <laughs> and that's where the crowd comes out. Um, but yeah, I would love for, I'm trying, I'm trying to throw some of my deals out. I'm trying to think of some of my deals and throw them out. So let's, let's say, uh, see, they will make it hard because I don't know anybody. So I couldn't say like, oh, let's have like this villain because, you know, this villain is going to want to do this and then Green Arrow is going to have to stop him from doing it. Let's just say, uh, Um, now I'm trying to think of this. It's kind of hard. Huh. Let's say, um, uh, let's say there's like a, it's the middle of the night, there's a bank robbery. Green Arrow is making his way across town or whatever. He's jumping the rooftop the rooftop. You, 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 like, and they show, like, the cutscene of him jumping the rooftop to the rooftop. I can't even speak. I'm, t I'm talking too fast. They show him jumping the rooftop to the rooftop, but then, like, they give you control. And then, like, you be able to jump, you know, Trevor's on top of the rooftop and stuff. And there's, like, bad guys just, like, in a way. And so you gotta quickly, like, uh, take him out. Um... They're unrelated to the crime at hand. You're trying to get to the bank heights, but like there's these crime. There's like these people on rooftop messing with somebody or whatever. You get to like stop them if you want. Um, it's optional. Come on, man. No, 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 no. They, have, have you take them out? They could. They'd be a good opportunity to show off the combat. So like you run into like these criminals. Coincident in your way, coincident at the time. And you get to brush up on your skills. Like, basically, just show off the combat, see what Green Arrow can do. Uh, come on, move it. I'm trying to think of the combat. Um,. But obviously, you got his bow and arrow. You can do like, uh, I think, Green Arrow can do like uh, martial arts too, right? They can play off the Batman combat too, because Batman does the same thing. Play off the Batman stuff. You know, you see the little icon flashing. Push a button to dodge it. Kind of attack. That, that combat is so fun. I think Batman, you know, I think, did Batman introduce it? I think Batman did introduce it. And then, like, Mad Max started doing this. Spider Man started doing it. You know, those kind of games that got, like, combat styles, they started doing the copying of Batman fighting stuff. Which is, I don't think nobody can complain about it because it's always fun to do that. It's fun to, like, be, you know, fighting and you do, like, a perfect dodge and then, like, uh... I think Spider-Man really knocked it out of the park and advanced that combat. Because, like, oh, man, the combos that you can do, it's just so stylish when you're fighting. And it feels good when you're knocking them out, too. And the stealthing, oh, my God, I don't even give... Yeah, Green Renoro can do a lot of stealthing and stuff. Do some arrows to take him out. 
and like half you know me have him like move real fast you know don't make him feel sluggish and slow you know have him like so he can you can like you can be on one rooftop you know sniping enemies and then like you quickly can jump to another one at like a quick speed you know have it so that you feel in control like where you can, and there's like stuff on the rooftops that Green Arrow can jump onto. So he quickly, you know, sniping from this side, and he gets on this side, you know, jump on this pole, run up that. Almost like a, almost like a open world Sly Cooper game. That'd be kind of cool. Oh man, now I can't wait. Now I can't wait for a game that's probably never gonna get made. <laughs> can't wait for it. They call it. Green Arrow, um, Green Arrow, Green Arrow Origins, they show like, it says, since it's like his first, the Green Arrow have a f game? Uh, I don't think it does. Since it's like his first video game or whatever, call it, make it a game about his, you know, backstory, you know? Uh, but don't have it be all about his backstory. You know, have it so like. Oh, what's the A thing? How far do I start over? I've got to save. Restart the mission? Oh. I've got to save. I've got to save. Ah, uh, that's okay. Dang it! Bobby! Can't I just go? <laughs> Can't I just leave? I don't know. Maybe. I feel like I could just leave. Don't pay any attention to him. Just keep going. <laughs> Will it actually work like that? They said I had to take out 26 of them. I'll fight this one guy. Uh oh. This guy's just grown. Woo! Who else need their own game besides Green Arrow? I mean, that's just what I would like to see Green Arrow have his own game. The Flash. Oh, yeah. That'd be kind of difficult, though. How would they do that? Um. They could just make it like a. I'm trying to think. I think would open world be a good idea? Cause you know, Flash he runs around quick. So like, you want to run around when you're playing a Flash game. You know, the main main thing you want to want to do is run. So yeah, maybe open world. See you. Maybe you yeah, with Flash. I feel like you can make a bigger open world because like you be doing most of the running. And you know how Flash is. Uh, if you put Flash in any other open world game. He will probably like run from the beginning of the map all the way to the end in just like a minute. It wouldn't take no time at all. So you could probably get away with like even making a you know, beer open world. That would probably take a lot of time. You know? Because like if you make a big open world and anything else, well, you're gonna have to like put a lot of more detail in it because like it's not like he's gonna run forever without stopping. And when he does stop and look around, what are you going to see? You don't want to see no polygons. So, man, these guys are tough. I'm about to die again. Got him. Uh. Ow. Come here, boy. Gotcha. Huh. But yeah, Flash will be... That would be a tough one to make. I would love to see that though. See how they'll get around it. I don't know. I'm getting tired of like taking out petty crime. Like, oh, bank heist, whatever. Like, have, have Flash do like some Just Elite stuff. Like some, some crazy missions, you know? Have him take out like a villain. Where... You know, it's just not the normal stuff. You know, I want to see some, you know, 
superhero stuff. You know, I want to see him just do something different. 